There's a lot of misinformation about substance use being a moral issue um, or a medical issue. Either way, something that needs to be resolved and controlled. And that's not our attitude here. Just assume that people are going to do whatever they want, whatever they want to do, need to do. Okay. Ex and that's fine. And whether we agree with what they're doing or not, it doesn't matter. That's not the, that's not the point. It's explaining to them or, or trying to see if they're open to, to letting, allowing you to explain, Hey, this thing you're doing, I know a way you can do it safer. Whatever they need in that day. That's my goal is just to make that process safer for them, whether it's injecting drugs, safer sex education, counseling, testing, anything in that realm is harm reduction to me. When folks do come in, we just try to be a friendly, friendly face. We let folks know that there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. I tell folks all the time, like, you know, if this is your lifestyle, then you just have to know your lifestyle. You use drugs. There's nothing wrong with using drugs. But if you're going to use drugs, just know your lifestyle. Know what you need. Know what you have to do. Like folks who, uh, who drink, they have the Uber app, right? It's the same thing. It could be something as simple as having two slices of pizza instead of five, or, or having the five and not dipping the crust in ranch, you know, you know, things like that. You know, it could be that simple. Um, it, but then it could be as extreme as cutting down bag usage, injection, you know, only using needles once, you know, things like that. Um, and, it, and it does, the, the beauty about it is it crosses over everything. So, you know, the syringe access that we do, it's always been like the most controversial thing that we've provided because we're giving somebody, um, obviously, a, a tool that's needed to use the drugs that they're going to use no matter what. So we have syringes, we have all the supplies, sterile supplies for injection drug use. Um, some of those include like water, alcohol pads, um, cottons, cookers, tourniquets. We also have the internet. We will print stuff for people. We will look things up for people. We will help people apply to jobs and write cover letters. And um, they can have a cup of coffee, some tea, and just come hang out with us. For many years, there's been communities who have um, fought against, uh, you know, syringe access with the um, Again, the, they have a perception that it's going to increase crime, that we're enabling, that it's going to increase um, individuals using more drugs. There has been many, many studies that have actually proven um, the opposite of that. It's actually their communities are a lot safer. HIV transmission rates have gone down. There's less syringes out in the streets. Um, and people are living healthier lives.